Hey y'all, let's say we're dealing with superheated water, and you know for some reason the state's superheated water, and we want to figure out uh, at a pressure of 4.2 megapascal and a temperature of 365 degrees C, we want to use these two intensive variables to come up with the specific volume at these conditions. So you say, alright, here's superheated water, I know the pressure and I know the temperature, so let's go to the superheated steam tables and look for those. And when you turn to the superheated steam tables, all we see, we see a pressure at 4 megapascal and a pressure at 4.5 megapascal, but we want a pressure equal to 4.2 megapascal. And additionally, we see temperatures at 350 degrees C and at, four, and at 400 degrees C, but we want a temperature at 365 degrees C. If the problem specified a pressure of 4 megapascal, it wouldn't be so bad because we just interpolate between this specific volume at 350 and the second specific volume at 400. Or if the problem said uh, evaluate the pressure at 4.5 megapascal, it wouldn't be so bad. We could just interpolate between these two specific volumes. So let's do this. We're going to make, let's make our own table at a pressure of 4.2 megapascal. So I'll interpolate, let's interpolate at 350 degrees C, let's interpolate between this number number in this specific volume, and at 400 we'll interpolate between this specific volume and this specific volume. That'll give us a third table, It'll, it will give us a table at 4.2 megapascal. So here's an example of what our table will look like. We want a pressure, we're going to say a pressure at 4.2 megapascal, and we're going to choose uh, temperatures that bracket this temperature of 365 degrees C. So I chose temperatures of 350 and 400 degrees C. And what we'll have to do is two interpolations. We'll need to fill out these two locations, the specific volume at 350 degrees C and the specific volume at 400 degrees C, both evaluated at a pressure of 4.2 megapascal. So back to the superheated water table, let's work with this. A temperature of 350 degrees C and at a pressure of 4 megapascal, we'll have a specific volume of 0.06647 cubic meters per kilogram. And at 4.5 at megapascal, we'll have a specific volume of 0.05842 cubic meters per kilogram. So in our first interpolation, we'll figure out what the specific volume would be at a pressure between 4.0 and 4.5 megapascal. So at a value of 4.2 megapascal. So here's a graphical depiction of what we're doing. So a temperature of 350 degrees C, there's two data points. The first data point we took from the table, these are the uh, corresponding values. At 4 megapascal, here's the specific volume. At 4.5 megapascal, here's the specific volume. So let's assume, to make our lives easy, that there is a linear relationship between these two data points. We're going to connect the dots using a line. And the pressure we're interested in is at 4.2 megapascal. So let's come up. So the dot we're interested in is right here. And we want to know what this specific volume is equal to. And one thing to note is that the slope in this case is a negative slope. You increase the pressure and you decrease the specific volume, which makes sense for a vapor. So let's call this point 1 and we'll call this point 2. And here's the equation to linearly interpolate. So at 350 degrees C, I'll pick a specific volume, or I'll pick a pressure, uh, 4.2 megapascal. I'll plug that in. I know P1 and P2. And what I come up with when I enter numbers into this is this expression. I come up with a value of 0.06325 cubic meters per kilogram. So let's enter that value in uh, in our the table that we're making. So here's the value again, 0.06325 at a temperature of 350 and a pressure of 4.2 megapascal. So this is one out of the three interpolations that we need to do. And we'll need to do it again at a temperature of 400 degrees C. Numbers we need at 400 degrees C are right below 350. So let's work with these numbers now for the interpolation. And running the same calculations, the same interpolation equation, what I come up with for the specific volume at 400 degrees C is a value of 0 0.06997. Here are the details of that calculation if you want to see them. So there's one more interpolation that we need to do, and that is to figure out the specific volume at a temperature of 365 degrees C. So here's the formula for interpolating that. We've got the two specific volumes now that we calculated in the other two interpolations. T1 and T2 are 300, or, uh, uh, 350 and 400 degrees C. And we're going to input, let's input the temperature we're interested in at 365 degrees C. And completing the calculation, the final value for the specific volume is 0.06527 
cubic meters per kilogram. And this is evaluated at a pressure of 4.2 megapascal and a temperature of 365 degrees C. So it is uh, interpolating, interpolating the superheated steam tables is, is tedious. There's three interpolations that you need to do. You can do this in one line using ease, which I'm showing here. So a variable, we'll call it V hat. And I'm using uh, this steam IAPWS again. It's a little bit more accurate than using uh, just water uh, as an equation of state. The temperature 365, pressure of 4.2 megapascal or 4200 kilopascal. And when I run this, I come up, I get a volume, a specific volume, 0 0.065 cubic meters per kilogram. And that agrees, uh, agrees well with what we, we come up with here.